Good morning. <clears throat> or good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is. It is morning here in Ohio. Uh, I haven't made a vlog in a good while. I've been busy in the first month of January has actually been kind of rough. Has some personal stuff going on, but I plan on getting right back into the saddle. Uh, and I wanted to start out with talking about what my projects are for 2021. Because last year and the year before, I released two books in both those years. So that was like insane. It was fun. It was difficult. It was really satisfying. Um, you know, I released Phantom Lock Mysteria and City of the Half Angel back to back last year. And the year before that, I did Dawn of the Half Angel and The Legacy, uh, not back to back, but within the same year. Um, and this year, I'm focusing, at least for now, I'm focusing on one book, The Toy Maker's Daughter, which is a science fiction and fantasy mashup. And to give you an idea of what that's about, it's about these two aliens that crashed Earth. They are answering a distress call and they arrive several thousand years too late. And uh, they basically get shot down by something on the planet and uh, they get separated and one alien gets uh, sort of adopted and rescued by a, uh, a human engineer of sorts, a very kind man, and then the other one gets uh, discovered by a race of cyborgs that are they're very, they're emotionless. They're the uh, dominant species on on Earth at this time, and uh, the story is just kind of about how the the nature versus nurture type thing, and eventually their their paths are going to cross again. And then I do actually do have another project I'm working on for this year, but it's not a new book. It's actually an old book. I am making a audiobook version of the Legacy. Now you might be asking, why, why are you starting with The Legacy? Why don't you start with something like Revolving Doors or one of the Phantom Lock books? Well, I think The Legacy is the most natural for a audiobook adaptation. I might get to the others at some point. However, I wanted to do The Legacy first because it's not part of a series and I was afraid that if I did the Phantom Lock series and I didn't like the process that I would feel obligated to do the other two. So I'm gonna do The Legacy and I'm gonna see how the audiobook does and how I like uh, recording lines for it and so far it's it's actually really it's really not that bad I I like doing it I think the biggest problem I have is you know it seems like whenever I want to record there's all sorts of noise going on next door there's cars going off outside and I just have to wait and it's a gigantic pain in the butt but other than that it's really recording my own audiobook has been a lot of fun it's something that people have been encouraging me to do for years and I'm excited to get to that. So for this year, I'm going to be doing the audiobook adaptation of The Legacy, and I'm going to be writing a new book, The Toymaker's Daughter. And that that's it for now. I've got plenty of vlogs coming throughout the rest of the year. Uh, the ones that I'm get, re getting ready to do is I'm going to be doing a Season 1 review for Babylon 5. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to do a video for Final Fantasy 8, and then i got a couple other movie vlogs and book vlogs coming up. Uh, the one I'm most excited about is the autobiography herself, written by Elsa Lancaster. I'm about finished with that book, so expect that very soon. Hope everybody's doing okay. I hope that if you set some New Year's resolutions or some goals for this year, that you're still um, that you're still working towards that because those are very important. It's it's important to give yourself some leeway too, but it's important not to give up. So. What are you working on this year? What are your goals for this year? Whether you're a writer or uh, whatever it is you're working on. Comment below, let me know, and take care.